All right, so here we are. We have a browser open. I use Chrome. All right, to get LabVIEW installed, what you do is go over here to ni.com. That's for National Instruments. And once you're here, go under Shop. And, oh, look, a little thing pops up here to the bottom right. This is LabVIEW. There's probably another way in, but uh, I don't want to get feedback right now. All right, so I'm going to click the little LabVIEW thing down here, and here it is. It gives you four choices for LabVIEW uh, installation path. You could do any of them. Um, I'm just going to hit this one right here that says Acquire and Analyze Measurement Data. It's not going to matter which one you select. It's really not. Okay, so then... Oh, here, here's this button right here that says Download LabVIEW. I'm just going to click this Download LabVIEW button. All right, it gives me the four paths again. All right, Download Now. Don't click this, click Download Now. Okay. So you click Download Now, and it's going to ask you to fill out, they want you to register. Mm -hmm. I'm already registered, so I don't have to do this part. I can go over here and say I already have an account and log in with my user credentials. Right. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And let's see if it lets me in with those credentials. I, those may not be the right credentials. Let's see if it lets me in or not. It says we're good. Okay, so once you get past making your uh, login for ni.com, then you'll get this download LabVIEW 32-bit. It is a 1.43 gigabyte installation. I recommend installing 32-bit LabVIEW. Don't do 64-bit LabVIEW. Mm -hmm. This is a 64-bit machine that we're operating on. I run 32-bit LabVIEW. So that's how, you know, once you download this, you'll be able to just run it and it will install LabVIEW. So then, how do you install the device drivers? All right, so let's go to that. Let's go to ni.com, and I'm going to type the word in their search box from their homepage, ni.com, I'm gonna type in device drivers. All right, so once I hit enter on that, then I get a bunch of options. I'm gonna to go to the very first one that says drivers. Here they are, and how about NI device drivers cumulative rollups? Why do they make this so hard for us to install? I don't think it's going to matter that much, but I'm going to do the very first one. NI device drivers, they show August of 2016. If I click download, then the download begins. I'll show this in the folder here. Now it's downloading the DCD. Once you get the downloader, you just run that downloader. Understand, this is going to take a really long time. I'm going to stop this download because I know it's going to take a very long time. Mm -hmm. If I can cancel it, well, otherwise I just got an extra download for no reason. Anyway, you run this once it once it gets on your system. Just run it. Uh, you'll probably want to do this on a Windows platform. You can do it on Unix. You can I did run have Windows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but uh, Windows is really what everybody's expecting. Okay. That's all there is to it. If you get those two things installed, you're good to go. You'll need about 20 gigabytes of, or it'll be under 20 gigabytes of free space you need on your hard drive, which is a lot. Yeah. I recognize that. You can delete it afterwards if you want to, but you want to have this installed if you're going to learn the LabVIEW programming language. And wow. Every computer I have owned since 1997, I have had enough room on the hard drive to install LabVIEW because it, I, I use it for everything. I don't I don't do it any other way now. It's Boy. just it's it's shorter and easier to use LabVIEW. It just is. Yeah. You will you will figure that out after taking this class. Okay. So all right. That's